Hey, what is going on guys? RVZ Stealth here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about a really strong combo right now for either top or mid and jungle, and this combo is going to be Cassiopeia and Twitch. So I was thinking today with like Twitch being pretty strong in the jungle right now, with Cassiopeia being a really good pick in mid and top lane, this combo could be really successful. And after trying it out, I think that this could be like one of the strongest combos that you can play right now, maybe other than like the Hecker and Shen combo that I made a video on. So the reason why this combo is so strong is because you're basically guaranteed to get first blood every single game as long as you do play it correctly. What you want to do to try to just guarantee that first blood is Twitch does start red buff because then he'll be able to slow the target with his auto attacks. After he does finish the red buff, he ganks for the Cassiopeia and because Twitch's auto attacks, it, they do poison or they inflict poison to the target that he's auto attacking, it means that Cassiopeia's E is going to deal a load of damage and you're going to be able to spam that out on the target for like maximum damage at level 1 and you don't even need to be level 2 as Cassiopeia which is why this combo is like so good. So Twitch takes red buff, he comes either top lane or mid lane, Cassiopeia takes exhaust. This is pretty key because I think that it, it'll just allow you to secure the kill like a lot better and a lot easier if the cast does go exhaust because they're going to be slowed. If they're pushed to around halfway then you're basically guaranteed to pick up that kill. So Twitch comes in, he auto attacks, Cassiopeia throws down the exhaust, and as long as they aren't like right up close to their tower, then you should be able to get this kill like every single time, and most players do not expect it. So I would definitely recommend trying this out and going for that first blood because you're gonna get it like 95% of the time as long as you do play it correctly. This combo also scales really, really well into the mid to late game because once you do get into those mid to late game team fights, as long as you go even like in the laning phase, then you're gonna do really well because all that Twitch needs to do is get like one auto attack off on a squishy target and then Cassiopeia can just spam her E out for a ton of damage. She doesn't even have to land her W or her Q. She, it's kind of like just making Cassiopeia a lot easier because what makes Cass hard is that you need to land your poison to be able to deal damage. But with Twitch, it kind of makes up for that weakness and it just makes her like super, super strong. So once you do get to those mid to late game team fights, Twitch, if he can just like use his alt on the back line get it off on the enemy AD carry or mid laner and then Cass can just go in and deal so much damage. Another reason to why this combo is so strong is because you have really good at Dragon and Baron pressure. Once you do finish the Blood Razor on Twitch, you can take those objectives really fast. So if you do see the enemy mid laner base in the laning phase, then be sure to go grab that Dragon. Once it does hit the 20 minute point in the game, if the enemy bot lane is just farming down bot lane and they aren't really paying attention, then you could look to go for an early Baron. If you do end up like grabbing a pink ward, just making sure it's not warded then you can melt that baron pretty quickly especially if you do like say twitch has his blood razor finished which he should have at 20 minutes and you've got a mountain drake already then you should be able to take that baron really fast now if your team is a bunch of squishies and you don't have like a top laner or a support who is building a bit tanky then it will be a little bit harder for you to take that baron at the 20 minute point you kind of just have to judge like on the game whether you have like enough damage and whether you do have the tank stats to be able to take that baron but most of the time if the enemies aren't paying attention then you should be able to take that baron in the early game and get a nice lead from it. And the only real con to this combo is that they are both very squishy champions and they do not have gap closers. So once you do get to the mid to late game, your positioning is going to be very crucial. If you can't position well, then Twitch is pretty much dead meat if they have like a Malphite on their team or if they do have some hard engage. And Cassiopeia also, she can do a pretty good job at like peeling off champions that want to dive in with her ultimate. But if she does end up messing up her ultimate or she uses it in the wrong situation, then she she can also be a pretty easy target so just make sure that you don't play this combo unless you like practice it a little bit you know how to play the champions because once you do know how to play both these champions and once you get this combo down i think it could be one of the strongest combos right now so that is going to be all for this video guys if you do decide to try out this combo then be sure to let me know how it does end up going i think it's a really great combo right now if you can play both of these champions correctly so thanks for watching guys, have an awesome day, and I will see you in my next video.